<laughs> or something cool like that. Okay, so welcome to the Four Honeybees Cottage. So we are here located on East Aurora's Main Street. What's your first? Sure. Year? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. So we start when you first walk in. You're greeted by the. Um, so I guess I should back up. We're in a farmhouse. It, it's you know right on Main Street. It, the the building itself is so cool. I have people all the time say, um, "Can I send my architect and get plans drawn up or or whatnot?" It really does happen. So the wow. building itself is really fun and unique. Um, so when you're walking in, it's set to make to look like you're coming into a home. So you have your foyer. Usually um, we have the first room set as um, a living room, pretty much always. Um, we've played with it a little bit and done um, dining room situations and things like that. Right now we're set for spring, summer. So um, we have Mackenzie Child's um, furniture in here so you can touch, feel, sit on it. Um, we, like I said, we're an authorized dealer. So we carry all of the patterns here for you to be able to see. So what you've been seeing in your catalogs and what you've been seeing online, you're able to come and pick it up and you know see all the hand painting colors and things like that. Oh, that's beautiful. It, well, that's the flower market pattern. When so, you walk in, and that's the that's the idea. We want you to feel comfortable. You know, I don't I, I don't want people to feel as though. Um, and the only way I can think about it is I don't want you to feel like you have to dress up to come here. I want you to feel like I just worked out and I'm coming to the cottage because I just need a break. Or I'm bringing my kids. The store is named after my four children. Oh. I'm a mom. I have, you know, my four little honeybees. They're in the store all the time. What's the it's age range? fine to bring your kids. Um, so my oldest is 15. My youngest is nine. Oh. So they've been here for the journey. So I am not scared of kids. I'm not scared of them. For you. Bring them in. It's, you know, it's supposed to be whimsical. We have a beautiful garden in the back, which we can show you. But there's all, there's all kinds of fun things for every age range. I want you to feel as though you can, you know, come in here and feel relaxed and calm and you're not trying to impress anybody. Sure. Okay. Um, so now, like all this whimsical stuff you have, like, you never see things like this in a retail store. I know. Store. Is this bunny not too much? I mean, I just love him. I fell in love with him and I saw him in one of my buying trips with Tracy, and I was like, if I could take him on the airplane with us, I would. I like really felt strong about him. And I've learned, you know, um, not having a lot of business experience when buying this business, it was so scary. I mean, I was a stay-at-home mom, sure. um, definitely building my husband's career and not mine. And there was something yearning inside me for more. And I felt like um, I needed to take a leap. And what I've learned, I've made so many mistakes yeah. along these six years, sure. of course, of different things I've bought and have been flops or whatever. Sure. Um, what I've learned is to really, really trust my intuition because what is here is things that I would want in my life. And so everything from soup to nuts, from, you know, our big lines of Mackenzie Childs to our small lines of, you know, jams and jellies. Right. I really want it to be things that I love. Um, but that's where it it's gets not, I don't, though, I've yeah. learned to not worry um, so much about what everybody's going to think about it. I just, or what is popular, or what are the growing trends, right, right. or I've, I, because it's enough to drive you crazy, and it I've is, never lived right. my life that way. You know, it's more so, what are things that you're going to love now, and what are things you're going to love 15 years from now? Not the things that are going to be trendy now, and right. you can get, you know, at, at home goods. That's not what I want. I want something that you come in, and you're like, you know what, I remember that day I went to East Aurora, and I remember that, yep. that bunny I bought, or whatever it is. And those are the things that I feel like need to be in the store. Well, um, what you said about intuition. It, it's in and you know, you never know because we're in a business, a retail business of, of public approval. People have to come right. in and they have to love it. But what I've learned um, with the store, with my design business, with um, all of that is that um, if, you, if you really are passionate about it, yep. Um, people people see that authenticity. It completely reflects. Yeah, that. it does. And I think that that's most important. You know, um, I feel like with what my life was prior to, this st to owning the store, um, people had a vision of what I was or right. who I was um, for years without even sure. me opening my mouth. Um, you know, of what my life is or who, who I was. Right. Um, and I kind of felt like 
I related that a lot with the store because people had this vision of this store as sure. being, um, you know, really high priced and hoity toity and right, you right. have to be fancy to come in and all of these things. And I just felt like that's so not me. Yeah, if you want to you wanna try, you know, and also I think as I'm approaching 40, uh -huh. I'm finally at a place in my life where I just, I just need to be me. I can't be anybody else. Yes, no, I can't no, try no to fear. Prove, no yeah, I can't. When that's when I that's when I get into problems is when I'm not living who I really am as a person and saying, you know what, that bothers me or that scares me or that upsets me or that makes me happy. If I'm not really authentic to those things, sure. whether it be in business or in life, those are when I get myself into problems. When I deviate from that path, and you know, and then I find myself that I am making the big mistake. You know, that's always and, that I'm and making the big mistake. It's that yep. in, your, in your heart, those intuitions that you follow really need that. to, yeah. As crazy as it may be, trust your crazy it. ideas. You know, I always <laughs> say, uh, but, so this is, we're standing in the room that is something completely um, has evolved as the store. There wasn't a lot of jewelry um, when I first bought it, but I love. I love jewelry and I love girly stuff. So I was like, okay, we're making people's homes beautiful. Why are we not making ourselves feel beautiful right. too? Um, so I love the jewelry aspect. We have high-end jewelry and we have earrings that are 12 bucks. And that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted for each department of the store to have every single price point um, if we can. Um, so yeah, so we do makeovers here, we do skincare analysis, we do um, with a beauty counter line um, that we've introduced to the store. Um, we have like great little gifties, um, these little bags are like $28, I mean so they're fun and they look great. Um, you know, cool I didn't jewelry. realize you guys did all that. Yeah, we do all of that. So it's really fun, we book one-on-ones for the makeup and you can come in and you and I talk and um, we work out what you're what you're looking for sure. exactly. Awesome. Um, so and that I love those kinds of things where people can be a little bit intimate with themselves and right. and you know say you know what I really hate this about myself and I really want to work on it whether it be in their home or or you know in their life. Right. So yeah. So that's what this is now. Uh, the jewelry was started later or. Um, you know they had a little bit of jewelry when I first bought the store and um, I found that it was really thriving and doing well um, because sometimes people come in for McKenzie child's teapot but right. they're like oh my gosh these earrings are 20 bucks like how can I go wrong sure. so um, or sometimes you want to just buy somebody a happy and it's just a you know a, a just make you feel good gift. Like or <laughs> sometimes you need a happy so yeah. <laughs> we wanted we wanted that to be added in and plus we're all like it <laughs> so we all like the jewelry so we wanted that so you do it okay so this is a room um, you know where we have most of our courtly check again the rooms are always different but right now this um has the most shelves and so we decided to you know mackenzie child's their courtly check line oh, is their um the mackenzie child's the courtly check line is is their um powerhouse okay. so the black and white check it's what they're known for um new collectors always come in for the courtly check um and i think that it is what's so cool about it is that you think it's everybody always says black and white check and it right. really bothers me because there are so many cool colors in it and that is why it goes um you know you have um yellows and greens and blues and and it goes in know, every decor know, i didn't even notice that yeah and most people don't and they're always like oh you saw that black and white check stuff and i'm it's like not it's really up, ombre no. there's a lot more to it but you know and but yeah and then like there's we have um, the ceramic pieces as well. Um, you know, these are all hand painted and a little different. The, the enamel pieces are a great price point. Um, the ceramic pieces, they're all handmade in Aurora and hand painted. So wow. it reflects in the price point, but you're also um, on the bottom, you're getting a stamp, um, you know, of authenticity. And you can just wow. see all of the, you know, every piece is different and unique. So you're getting like a little piece of artwork on each one. Oh, cool. So, yeah, so we have all of it. We have the is that maybe why I said that because I said Alice in Wonderland. Maybe it's that tea party. It is, like, you know. This well, has that look to it. It so does. It, it does, and, the, and I think that Mackenzie Childs prides himself on um, being unique. You know, I, I'm I'm always in awe 
of the creativity that they can come up with, mm -hmm. like it is super inspiring because now, they just they, come up with the coolest mix of patterns and color. Well, and, people um, are super passionate about them. I mean, it's right? Like, and I think famous. I think in a world where um, you know everything is cookie cutter right, right now, everything is the same look everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Um, it's fun to see something that is still, you know creative it is. different and um, I think that's what people like about it, it is, well and it's a perfect marriage of product and building yes you know? and well and, and, and you know yes the building has evolved since I bought it but really that was where that was Barb's vision yeah. original owner but and so she even puts like this like well this is a local artist this is Michelle Colleen Vogel's artwork we wow. um, display her artwork and um, she had a store for years and years and then retired um, here in East Aurora, the West End Gallery. And so we do have her artwork around the store and we're so proud to represent it and have a partnership with her. Um, and it's funny because these are our quilted, whoops, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So these are our quilted walls and they're, they're so cool. And when she brought this artwork in, she just brought it in last week and I put it on and I'm like, I mean, how perfect is this? <laughs> yeah, we'll she like me She's like meant to be yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, so, totally. um, yeah, so she, um, She's a, a, a really creative, unique um, spin on her artwork, and I think that that makes it really fun. Yeah, um, your so. ability to, I mean, she brought it in and immediately probably recognized, right, the little pop. <laughs> I did. I was like, I know where to put yeah. this, and I, like, stuck it up on the wall, and it really And that's was, the whole like, point of, of you, of recognizing oh. all this, or, like, yeah. to you. I'm sure you're, you guys are all really adept at, like, look, every time, I, I can look anywhere in the store, and it's just, well, it's like everything that's there was meant to be there. Well, it know? is, and that is when I say that we put effort in we put a lot of effort in. It's not like we just put product out. It's staging every day sure. because then things sell. And so then you have to, you know, restage it and redo it. And um, if we, it's, it's an exciting it's, it is, thing. It is, cool. but you know, you're working with really beautiful things too. Oh so God. it makes it really easy to do. What, are, are those hers? Yeah, those are Michelle Conley Vogel's she artwork are. as well. So um, I had a children's book company. And yeah. And the books are these like crazy, like fantasy type Yeah, books. she has such wow. a cool vision and, and really unique. And you know what, I'll just use it on my DSL. Holy okay. cow, she is, that's awesome. Yeah, she has really, really How crazy and crazy, uh, crazy cool vision. Like almost sure. like a, there's like an Orwellian, like 18th century. Like, yeah, it's very different and very unique. Uh -huh. Yeah. And we're lucky to have her. So now this room is, uh, is it a theme? I mean, it looks like it. Well, yeah, we just, we wanted to be able to have one piece of everything in the courtly check enamel, which is the metal. Um, a piece of every um, courtly check item in here and that way you can see it all so if you're comparing and there's you know a couple different teapots and there's a couple different cups and there's a couple different platters and all those things it's easier if you can see it in one piece so even though you walk in and you're like holy smokes that's a lot of courtly check it's easier for people to shop sure. um, and for the powerhouse of the collection we really needed the space well I, you know, everywhere I point the camera I can't go wrong here Good. <laughs> that's awesome Okay, so now we are in the kitchen of the building, um, and we have a lot of kitchen-themed items in here. So the new introduction for Mackenzie this year was this. This is the royal check, so it's the blue and white check. It's been insanely popular. People really, really love it. Um, a fresh spin. And again, it's designed, like as you can see over here, um, it goes really well with their other patterns. So you can mix and you can match. Um, we have Stonewall kitchen items, so we have drink mixes and jams and jellies and all kinds of fun things like that. Practical items, dish towels, um, you know, cocktail napkins, those kinds of sure. things in here. Um, we always have, um, this room is always changing. So we have our some of our staples, but then we also have, you know, like our little tea party set over here or things like that. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, so that's what this room is. Um, some of the details as far as the building, like I love these ca the cabinetry. And if you come in, and I hope you take the time to appreciate like the crackle finish of the of the kitchen cabinetry and this coral pickled countertop and things like that that are unique to us. Um, you know, we had shiplap before shiplap was cool. Um, and so you know, the the building itself has got so much character. Um, you know, in the back this leads to our garden in the back which we have 
um, herbs and gardens. Um, we're going to have some fun events coming up um, that will be outside and it's really beautiful back there. Over here is an example of all of, um, so we have a seamstress on staff here for our interior design. We do a lot of window treatments. Um, we sell fabric and um, this is just some of an example of the quality of work and craftsmanship and ideas um, that we came up with so that you could really see. You like a, it's like a one-stop shop. So I, this is why I do the show though, and this is perfect. I didn't know you did this. I didn't know. Okay, so now we're upstairs, and upstairs we have um, our gift card wall. We have a lot of um, risque, funny, we, I wanted, I guess the, what I wanted it to be is obviously we have our like beautiful, um, you know, cards and gift cards and gift enclosures, but then I wanted the store to be fun. Um, I wanted people to laugh. Sure. And I wanted it to be an experience as you travel through the store. I didn't want you to feel like it was ever stuffy. Um, so we have dirty <laughs> cards. I know it's random, but we do. So like, let's see. All right, I'm going to read one. Is that yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah, okay. Well, I, everything's out of it. I don't know. Okay. If it's too bad. Right, come true. Happy birthday. <laughs> so I feel like things like that, um, yeah. it keeps it fun. And there's yeah. dirty ones that I won't. I won't. Yeah, I'll spare you. Okay. I'll spare you watchers from doing that. Yeah. So we won't have that. But um, <laughs> then. Okay, so now when you come in this room, this is our bathtub room. We have Epsom salts and room sprays and lavender. I'm a big believer. I love lavender. Um, so we have sachets and things like that. Um, we carry um, all kinds of fun, unique, like gifty type items. We do Magnolia Home. Wow. Um, we do Finchberry soap, which is really cool. Um, handmade soaps that are um, smell awesome, have really fun names. This one's called Tart Me Up. <laughs> um, uh, main Squeeze, Past Curfew, really fun. We carry Beekman. Um, I love the the men that created um, the Beekman boys. They're called. Okay. Um, they're really awesome and fun. Their line is very cool, and it's goat, made out of goat milk. So it's. Um, I love to try awesome. to things of think think sure. of things that are in keeping with um, a healthy body and a healthy mind. Is that a new uh, product line for you? No, we've carried it for um, I don't know a couple years now at this point. Um, but I love the guys. I believe in their mission of Where their are they company. From? Um, they're from New right in New York. Um, they are, um, and then I like to show like this is a good example of mixing um, an antique piece um, with some of the courtly Czech ceramic items over on the wall here. So you can see um, how awesome it looks to mix the old and the new. Yeah, and you have uh, the furnishings that you've picked out in here. Everything just works. You know what I mean? And well, everything I wanted accentuates to, everything else. Yeah, and I I think. Um, and like I said, this room is always changing right now. It's this, um, you know, like where you would have a cool club meeting or something like sure. that, or, you know, play cards or things like that. But then there's, um, this could be completely different in right. a month. So, right. yeah. Awesome. There we go. Um, so this room, I wanted it a little bit more of a rustic feel. We still have, um, Mackenzie Childs in here, Luminara Candles, which is, um, their hand, their wax candles made to look, um, real on timers. They're fabulous. We, I love those for bookshelves, things like that, but I wanted, um, things to feel a little darker and warmer in here. Right. So those, the color scheme in here, which they do. um, this is our really super fun door knockers. Um, I try to do a lot with a bee theme, um, keeping with our name. So mm -hmm. we have, you know, like our honeybee, um, items. Um, I just, I wanted this room to show, um, I do horses, so I wanted some of the items in here. Your horses at home? Um, not at home. I have chickens at home. Aww. I have dogs, I have cats, I have horses, but not at home. But, um, so we have a lot of cool, um, like these purses are made, um, out of reins. Oh, wow. Um, and just, and then be cool. theme. So, um, yeah, so you can, with this company in particular, you can design what you wanted. Um, so I thought this was just a really fun, sure. fun space. And you have a ton of, you know, you... Okay, so now we are in the baby's room. Um, I wanted really unique baby gifts, so something that you couldn't find at like the Baby Gap, and you could come in um, and find something really special. So um, it's this little intimate room. You know, we have our crib in here with all of our sweet Mackenzie Child's tea party sets and things like that. We carry, um, I loved these shoes when my kids were growing up. Um, they were the only ones that could stay on their feet, so I thought they were really, you know, the, awesome to have here, and they have, they're just so sweet and a perfect little gift. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, they're awesome. Um, and just kind of really pretty little gifty items for whimsical stuff. Whimsical, fun things. Really cheap. And again, I love to keep it um, fun. So we have our fun. This is how I roll. My dad used to be cool. Um, you know, <laughs> nah. just fun, kind of keeping it feeling so it doesn't ever feel stuffy yep. in in the space. Yeah, you uh, you're yeah. If you were out for that, I mean, that's not even. It's Good. just there. <laughs> it's just present in every room. And then this one. Oh wow, I don't think I remember this room. Yeah, so this room is um, fun because this has really been evolving for me. And um, obviously I love clothes, I love fashion, I mm -hmm. love to feel great. Um, so we decided to add in here um, women's accessories. You can find gloves and hats and things like that seasonally, um, purses, um, really cool, unique. I wanted it to be unique, fun, and different. Um, things that I really love. Now the clothes, um, um, mm -hmm. is, there, is that a certain line or? Yeah, it, it, well, um, well, this is a certain line. So we carry um, Spanx leggings, okay. which um, honestly. The real, the real deal. Yeah, they're, right. they're, they're just amazing. And, and honestly, why we have these is because I wanted them in my life. And I figured if I wanted them in my life and Tracy wanted them in her life, like why doesn't everybody? Yep. So um, I was like, why am I buying these online? I'm going to have them at the store. <laughs> the and they've been really popular. And I love them because they're just the perfect legging. And um, they just really shape and tone and make you look great and wow. make you feel confident. So Awesome. So this is so much more than oh, yeah. a decor Exactly. Um, you know, we always try to do, so we just don't like display umbrellas. We have a piano and we <laughs> display them like that because that seems normal, right? Why not? Um, why not? <laughs> so anyways, yeah, so. Um, awesome. Yeah, so I just, I felt like I had gotten this as a gift, this did piano, you really? actually. Um, I did. Your piano as a gift? Who gave you a Baldwin piano I, as a gift? I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know, it's crazy, That's right? Beautiful. So I, I got that. Um, and I just thought, you know what, I, it's a player piano, so you'll come in um, during the holidays and things and it'll be playing, so nice. it's really neat. And it's a perfect spot for it because it echoes through the whole cottage, It does, right? it just is really, it's it's beautiful. Wow. So, yeah. Another beautiful room. It's great. I could see why people would just hire you, really, to do their house. I know. hope so. I just yeah. need to like a color scheme and just come back three weeks later. Yeah, you know? I know. I know. Well, that's something we didn't really talk about. So maybe we can yeah, go downstairs yes. and design yeah, room because we room didn't room. do that. So now we've done um, we've done three designer show houses. Um, I have my design clients. Janice has her design clients. Um, I've gotten really involved in doing renovation product pro projects, um, and I really love it. Wow. And I really it, feel like that's where yeah. where I need to be. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a natural extension of this. Though. I hope yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Um, obviously, so much training has been on the fly and learning, um, you know, what companies sure. I would want in my own home. Like, I was like, okay, these are the companies we carry at the store. I was ripping cushions off of my couch to say, what brand is this? Because I love this sofa and I want to make fun. sure I keep it and I want to introduce it to the store. Right. Um, traveling, learning, studying, um, you know. It's endless, right? It, it is, yeah. And, I, and then I also think... Um, I hate in my life, I hate it, and I hate it in, in design. I hate fads. I want classic. Yes, I want something yeah, yeah. classic. And I always tell my girls that same thing. Like, don't, yeah, it's great to have a couple trendy pieces, but really and truly, your basic and your groundwork has got to be quality. Yeah. And and I feel that way when I'm designing. Right. Um, you know, I, I feel like it's important to capture that. So, and do a whimsical spin. But not only right. that, because then you have something that will last. Exactly. You know, yeah. and I'm not go I'm not going to say that buying furniture and buying quality furniture is cheap. You can go anywhere in yep. the country and you can pick up a sofa that day and bring it on home. Sure. But will it last? Probably not. Right. Are the cushions going to sink? Yes. Do you have a warranty? No. All of these right. things that um, go into every little step that I take to make sure that my clients have something that is going to last and be something that they can pass down. Sure. Um, and I feel really strongly about that. And then I've surrounded myself with experts in the field that I can say and rely on, you know, um, I have an interior. So we have this, we have this quote in the store and it's, Perfect. I'm going to make everything um, beautiful around me. And that is my life. And I feel like, that is my mission on this planet. I right. feel really strong about um, making people feel really good in their space, sure. making people feel really good about themselves, um, whether it be new earrings or an unknown.